Hi everyone. Um, I'm so excited today. I wanted to pop in live because I just received this box and I know what it is. It's a shipment of my brand new books, which are, which is, um, launching next month. And I'm super excited about this book and I wanted to unbox it here on, on camera. Um, I haven't been this excited about something in a long time. So, so I just wanted to share this moment with you. It's so good to be here. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been on Facebook that much lately and I will explain why in a moment. <gasps> here it is. Oh my gosh, this is it. My new book, Sensitive is the New Strong. I am so excited about this book because I put so much into it. It, it took me, um, I started writing it in 2017 and then I finished it during COVID, during the last year. Uh, but I think I did so much writing actually last year towards the, towards the end, even though I started it in 2017. So Sensitive is the New Strong is for those of you who relate to being an empath, to being sensitive. And it's just, uh, um, as I said, I put my heart into it. And what I wanted to do was, I just wanted to read to you the dedication that I wrote. Uh, the dedication of who it's to, because it's to all of you. So the dedication goes, to the gentler souls who walk among us, the sensitive, empathic ones who give of themselves tirelessly without a thought for their own needs, the self-sacrificing among us who don't know how to receive. Those gentle souls include those who say yes, even when they feel like saying no who are in service to everyone except themselves, who feel guilty when they take care of themselves, who have been victimized and bullied, who have no idea of their own self-worth. You have been silenced and your voice, and you, have been silen you have silenced your voice and made yourself small so others can feel big, and you've dimmed your light for so long that you don't know how to shine anymore. You've read all the spiritual books, all the self-help books. You've prayed, meditated, chanted, forgiven everyone who's wronged you and forgiven them again, only to find that while you've been so engaged, the world outside has been hijacked by the louder and more aggressive voices among us. This book is for you. Your voice is vital and your light is essential. It's time to step into your truth and take back your soul your life and your world. That's who this book is for. It's for all the sensitive souls among us whose voices have been silenced for so long. Um, I wanted to just really quickly share with you and say I'm sorry that I haven't done a lot of Facebook Live videos. Um, and one of the reasons is because, to be very honest with you, uh, I completely burnt myself out. And I did that because well, because I really wanted to keep speaking and sharing, but I did find that the world was becoming increasingly harder to deal with. Hence the subtitle of this book, Sensitive is the New Strong, The Power of Empaths in an Increasingly Harsh World. I actually struggled with dealing with um, all the divisiveness that was going on. It didn't matter what people were saying, Everything was being polarized and politicized and people were attacking each other. Even amongst my own genre, people who didn't agree with each other were attacking each other. I struggle when people attack each other because we're supposed to be able to share our views in a, uh, in, in a way that where we can embrace our differences. Um, my struggle is because sometimes I feel pressured into taking sides but I find it hard to take sides because I know what happens when we die. When we die, there is clarity. There is this clarity that all sides exist for a purpose. And there is this clarity that the most important thing is love. The most important thing is connection. And so my priority has always been to bring people together and not divide people. But what I was finding more and more on social media, no matter what you talked about, it would be construed as something divisive. And 
I started to get really burned out with uh, everything that was going on and everything being politicized and um, and and because because there's a feeling if I say the wrong thing that it's contributing to the divisiveness and so I felt I needed a break I was completely burned out I needed a break I turned inward but it was the best thing I, that I could ever have done I feel well rested um, I finished writing my book I created an online sanctuary I created a group a little tribe of my own that I people I started connecting with and I got my energy back and um, I'm ready now and I'm ready to speak to the people who relate to what I am saying I'm ready to speak to people who are empaths like me people who do feel overwhelmed by this world outside who do need to shut down and recharge our batteries I'm ready to speak to people like that I'm ready to speak to people for whom the love and the um, and collaboration and the coming together of people is so much more important than the than the divisiveness that's happening outside um, I I find it hard to take sides because because people who have their views have their views for a reason their thinking has been informed um, in, in a certain way and so they've built their views accordingly for me I know that we can actually overcome anything if we put love as a priority I really believe that and if people came together and started actually having real conversations without attacking each other that is far more important than anything right now our world is so divided that doing anything sometimes can feel really draining and those are the kind of people that I want to address those are the people that this book is written for um, and basically I will be pacing myself at a rate that is manageable to me because the most important thing that you can do I can do all of us can do is to recharge our own batteries keep our energy up so that we can be a light in this world and so that we can share ourselves and share our light um, I really appreciate those of you that have been following me that have been patient with me I love all of you I really do and um, have had to as I said just be a little bit of a recluse for a while to get myself together and to build my own energy up so thank you for your patience and I will slowly be making myself back making my way back into the world again um, love you all and I will be reading all the comments after I go offline and uh, and I know so many of you have written to me saying you're excited about this book I'm excited about this book thank you thank you thank you and I look forward to seeing you all really soon Love you. Bye.